Good morning. Welcome to the uh, update from Recovery Room on Friday, the fifteenth of May. Beautiful day down here again. Went to see the house yesterday. Took some more, some more photographs and discovered that uh, excitement and fear is about the same sort of emotion. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But you are going to get some updates on that, whether you whether you like it or not. But uh, it's all happening, and uh, we're kicking off in a few weeks to go and start the uh, the renovation project. So we'll see how that goes. Did the uh, Zoom training yesterday, sales training on Zoom yesterday. First time for us doing a, a training workshop over Zoom. And what we've done is split it into uh, four sections of two hours with a week in between. So we've got some homework and some feedback. And we're getting some really good ideas coming back from people attending as well about how we can modify it and tweak it a bit and maybe add some more value to it as well. So that's work in progress, but uh, I enjoyed it. So that's the main thing. So if you're on the webinar yesterday and you saw it, thank you for that. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, let me know your thoughts and your feedback. And uh, one of the uh, the key things that came out, and somebody did me a little note back um, about one of the points they, they picked up from the, uh, the the training. And it was simply a, a timing question around uh, when do you sell. And uh, what the story was, and I'll just repeat it, because I think, I think it is an interesting point. I've learned this myself, and I see it all the time on social media. And as we're selling in the, the new normal, if you like, after lockdown, we've got to sell on social media. We can't go and see people face to face. We have to sell on this little screen for a while. So we've got to change our approach a little bit. And uh, the, re the, the way to look at it from a sales and marketing perspective is, imagine you walk into a, a bar and you see somebody at the bar that you find particularly attractive or you find you want to go and you know, connect with and you walk over, they've never met you before, you walk over to them and you go, you know, hi, my name's uh, David, I, I'm a business coach. He wouldn't say that because that's not you. Anyway, I'm David, I'm a business coach and uh, would you like to get married, have some kids, settle down, get a mortgage? and uh, you know, buy a house together. Now, what's gonna happen if you do that, if it's somebody you've never met before, you're probably gonna get arrested or get a drink over your head or a slap or a straight jacket or something like that. It's too soon, it's too much too soon. Buying and selling is a process, it's like dating. You have to build up trust first, you have to build a relationship and at some point, you may get married or do a deal or sign a contract or something like that but you're not gonna do it on day one, or very rarely you're gonna do it on day one. And even if you do do it on day one, very likely it's not gonna last because you're gonna find out things about each other that you didn't think were you didn't think, didn't think were true. Uh, Lynn and I were dating since I was 15 years old and we didn't get married until I was 23 because I was off working uh, um, in, in all sorts of bits and pieces, playing with rockets and guns, that sort of stuff. But we got to know each other over those seven years quite well, actually. And uh, then we figured out, actually, we can we can do this. And we were right. There were no, no surprises. So sales and marketing is it's a process, not an event. And the process starts with building some emotional connection, building rapport, building likability, trustability, and knowing as well. So you get to know people through their content, their videos, their advertising. At some point, then you have a conversation. Maybe it's just, can we hook up and have a, a coffee and a chat or a virtual coffee and a chat or something like that? And then away you go. Now that time scale is important because it allows people time to build trust and relationship with you and, and don't rush it, don't go too quick. In in my business, on the on the language business, it takes about six months. We're dealing with a lot of corporates. So on the language training business, it takes about six months for us to attract and develop online relationship with people. In the business coaching and training world, it's a bit shorter. It's about three months on average, three months for people to look at what we do, consider that we look <laughs> harmless, we look okay, we seem to know what we're doing, and uh, they then go, okay, let's have a coffee and a chat. Now, if I try and push that too far, i.e. after the first week of connecting with somebody, or they happen to like my video, I pounce on them and say, hi, let's get married and have some kids, or let's do a coaching program and a workshop for you. It's too much too soon. And because we can't meet people face to face, we've got to build this trust, and it takes a little bit longer to do it, over screen over social media so a little bit of patience as well now in some businesses it may take 20 minutes to build that level of rapport or a week in my business in business one it's about three months in business two it's about six months so we gauge our marketing around that but we know the pace we understand the pace of uh, attracting leads and new clients and prospects to ourselves now when we do that what happens when somebody connects with us and they reach out to us and they let's have a coffee and a chat 
the conversion rate in sales terms, the conversion rate is very, very high, mainly because what they've done is they've bought before they call. Now, in their mind, emotionally they bought, then it's a logical conversation with me. Does it stack up? Am I, you know, do I, do I represent what they've uh, seen about me? Is it consistent and congruent? If it is, then life is good and away we go. So my conversion rate in sales terms is high. Not because I'm a good salesman, but because I'm building a relationship with people before they make that connection with me, I think. So that's how it works. It was an interesting uh, comment somebody they picked up on that on the, the workshop yesterday. So don't rush it. It is like dating. Don't just go and pounce on people and look desperate. Wait for them to come to you, but you've got to do the activity to get there. So that's what we're doing on this um, Zoom sales workshop is building the pathway and the content for people. So hope that's of help. Don't rush it. A bit of patience is good. Build your content, build trust, build likability, and people will come to you. It's like dating. Remember that. Okay, look, have a great uh, Friday. I'll speak to you tomorrow, which will be Saturday. I'm off to the DIY store this morning because the <laughs> the garden on the new place, or the old, the new old place, whatever you want to call it, because um, it's been beautiful weather here, sunshine and rain. This place has been empty for about two years, we think. Now the spring is here. The brambles are two, three metres high. So we're going to buy some petrol-powered tools and that sort of thing. All good fun. Anyway, have a great day. I'll speak to you tomorrow, and bye for now.